Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm going to be blending an ice cream waffle cone with an ice cream sandwich in something I'm calling a crispy waffle ice cream sandwich. Funny enough, these are actually going to be on my pop-up menu in Seattle next week. If you wanna grab a ticket, they'll be in the description box below, so check that out. But with all that said, let's dive into the recipe. All right, so just as you saw in the intro, I'm going with a Neapolitan ice cream mixture to fill up the crispy waffle wafers. And I'm starting out by making the sweet strawberry base to fold into my sweet cream ice cream base later, which has already been made. And I have a link to the recipe in my description box in case you are wondering. Um, so in a mixing bowl, you're gonna add in your cut up strawberries. Uh, this is actually a really good way to get rid of any strawberries that aren't looking all that great. Uh, but anyways, add in the sugar and give it all a quick toss to coat the berries. Next, you are going to transfer the sugary strawberries to a saute pan that's on medium heat and cook the berries until they are super tender, sticky, and almost a hot cherry red color when they're finished. And once that's done, you're gonna pour them into another bowl and chill the mixture in the fridge for about one hour. All right, so next up is the waffle wafers. Uh, now what you wanna do is grab a mixing bowl and whisk together the egg and the milk first until they're thoroughly mixed. Um, then next you're gonna add in the sugar, flour, and finally the melted butter, and continue whisking until everything is extremely smooth. As soon as that is all done, you're gonna preheat your waffle cone press on medium heat and begin to ladle as many small circles onto it as it will fit. Uh, now you're gonna close the lid and cook until they are a slightly dark golden brown color. Then you're gonna remove them from the waffle press and leave them on a flat surface to cool down and stiffen up. Uh, now if you wanna switch things up about halfway through this whole cooking process, you can add a little bit of cocoa powder or matcha uh, to your batter, and then you can knock out really a whole new array of uh, waffle wafer flavors if you'd like. Now that all of the crispy waffles are knocked out, it's time to whip up all the ice cream flavors. Uh, like I said before, I whipped up this sweet cream ice cream a minute ago for this very moment, so make sure you prep this ahead of time, or you can go grab some of your favorite store-bought vanilla. Anyways, begin to add in the sweet strawberry preserve and the cocoa powder in different bowls with the sweet cream ice cream, and make sure they are thoroughly mixed. Also, don't forget to uh, reserve some of the plain sweet cream ice cream base uh, so you still have three of the flavors to work with because sometimes you can go a little stir crazy and you won't realize that all the plain ice cream is gone.
All right, so after the ice cream flavors are all done, you're gonna grab a piping bag fitted with a large round metal tip and begin to layer in the strawberry, chocolate, and sweet cream ice creams if you're gonna shoot for a swirled kind of look for the ice cream sandwiches. If not, then you can just put them into um, each of their own bags and pipe them out individually for a really good contrast and colors, um, exactly like how the intro was. Um, but one thing you want to note during this process is that you want to work as fast as you can and try using frozen metal trays to keep everything from melting too quickly. But as soon as you're done piping all the ice cream out, put the ice cream sammies back into the freezer to set up for about one to two hours and they should be ready to go. These look beautiful. I'm very excited with the way these turned out. I'm actually gonna be tasting the, um, the blended mix, um, the first round when I piped it into there. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to dive in and tell you guys how these turned out. Mm. <laughs> And I know you guys know this, but when you want the ice cream sandwich effect, you want that ice cream to be a little bit more set so when you bite into it, it doesn't like spill out everywhere. Um, but when you're under time constraint and you're trying to make everything happen within a video, sometimes you don't have the time to let it set up completely. So good. I love the Neapolitan flavor. Mm. It's definitely one of my favorite ice cream blends. Big fan of dark chocolate. Big fan of dark chocolate ice cream and gummy bears, which kind of plays into this fruity aspect just a little bit with the strawberry. It's like my all-time favorite ice cream mix-up, which is kind of strange. Um, but it was um, I adopted it when I was working at my first job, being Baskin Robbins. And um, one of the other employees there turned me on to dark chocolate and gummy bear mix. Um, so I, I really do like that strawberry flair in here. I've always been a big fan of Neapolitan. <laughs> Definitely crazy sauce here. Mm. Very easy to make. If you have a waffle cone little maker, those are like 15 to like 30 bucks find them on Amazon. I'll leave the, the link down in the description box if you guys are interested. But these were um, really, really fun to make. Lots of different varieties you can think about, especially like flavoring the waffle cone batter, different um, ice cream variations, different sherbets. You could even do sorbet if, you, you know, if you're really creative with the flavor combinations. Also, another great thing about these is they're, they're going to be on a menu that I'm putting together with a buddy of mine, um, a cook named Matt. That's his Instagram profile name, his real name is Matt Broussard. We're doing a pop-up restaurant in Seattle at the Carlisle, and it's uh, the dessert we're doing is going to be assorted little uh, waffle wafer cone ice cream sandwiches like the one I did in this video, but a couple different um, oddball flavors we're gonna throw in there. Chef it up a little bit with the flavors, so that's gonna be really fun to see how that turns out. If you guys wanna purchase tickets, I will leave the link down in the description box for all that info if you guys are interested in uh, attending because it's going to be a really fun night. It's going to be like three or four courses. We're going to have snacks and drinks and it's going to be really fun. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check the description box for that link and I will see you guys there if you end up buying a ticket. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you uh, try this out, share it with your friends and family. 
It's always um, definitely a very shareable and fun dessert. Give this video a like, comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.